when did you feel called to be a priest? Do you remember what age and what you were thinking? It was on and off for me for a while. The Lord's been very patient with me. I was initially at art school, and I had honestly drifted kind of away from the faith at the time. And I had a reversion experience. And it was around that time that I first felt that the Lord was calling me to this. So closer to 19, I'm 42 years old now, and I entered seminary when I was 35, that I just realized internally that this is where I was supposed to be. There was a peace of mind, an inner peace, that was really a sense of confirmation for me. So right now, most of my artistic output is really writing. I have one book that I published, and I'm working on several more. Mostly, I write fiction. My one book that I have out right now is called Dead and Godless, and it's an afterlife adventure. My main character is a, he's an outspoken atheist. He dies an untimely but heroic death. He's assigned a chain-smoking alcoholic angel as his defense attorney in the trial to decide the fate of his soul. And there's a lot of apologetics that take place within the context of the story, but it is very much an adventure story at the same time. Because I have some experience with storytelling, I can often work that into my homilies and, you know, you have those have those narrative hooks. I'd been an entrepreneur for almost 10 years prior to entering seminary. And the shift from making my own hours and kind of being in charge of my day to suddenly having someone telling you, you're going to wake up at this time, you're going to pray at this time, you're going to have classes from this time to this time. Um, the regimented style of seminary was a challenge for me initially. Formed some friendships, that priestly fraternity in the future that I'll have thanks to that experience. I'd say that's the most valuable element of it for me. I'm not uh, especially skilled when it comes to foreign languages, but I got to spend six weeks studying in Guatemala and in Antigua, and that was, that was a big experience. When you came home and said, or called and said, Mom, Dad, I've decided I'm going to give seminary a try. What was their reaction? Uh, they were joyful. <laughs> I, I think I took them by surprise when I mentioned that. But my folks, you know, I've been blessed with very supportive parents. He was curious. He was very imaginative. Um, he was a good learner. He loved books. I see him as a leader. He was a leader with his siblings and um, very kind. They were always ready to follow after him with the games they would make up. Yeah, it was a surprise, but, uh, you know, uh, he had experiences, I think, at the uh, Savannah College of Art and Design where he had gone to pursue his art career and um, experience with a professor there that was an atheist uh, philosophy professor and their exchange between the two of them sort of, I guess, helped him to discern that he wanted to become a priest. Very analytical mind. And I think he brings that to, even to the sermons that I've heard him preach. Uh, he brings that to the pulpit. That that's, this is why we're here. This is not, uh, you know, some, some just blank faith here. There's, there's power behind it. He will always be courageous always stand up for the Lord and what is right and good. I, I have a love for apologetics. And I would love to bring more of that to my ministry. But working, working with parents, something I think I'll, I, I've always had a gift for connecting kind of with fathers especially. And I hope to, hope to be able to do more of that in the parish. Looking forward to, a parish is often a lot like a family and having that Having those family roots there is something I'm very much looking forward to. Somebody might be listening to you uh, or maybe thinking about the priesthood or maybe just had even just a little, little tinge of a thought about it. What do you say to them? Well, I'd say that question that I asked initially, of, it's not about what I want, but Lord, what, what do you want me to do? What are you calling me to? But if you feel that maybe the Lord is calling you to this, like I say go for it. Give it a shot. You may find that you're happier than you ever thought you could be.